Saturday evening at the Hilton, and the string ensemble is warming up for one of the biggest society events of the year, the Mercy Hospital Ball. On hand are some of San Diego's most influential citizens, hobnobbing and chatting each other up in a way they might not elsewhere. <laughs> also in attendance is a man who will take down who's who and write them up for his social column in the San Diego Union. The Mercy Ball is one of several dozen functions Burl Stiff will cover in a month's time, and even though it's a fundraiser with an obligatory art auction, he wouldn't dream of missing it. How many people tonight? There are about 420. 420? So Great. it's turned out to be really nice. Yeah, so, lots of action. This is silent auction, right? This is silent auction here. For the hostess, there's no end to the loose ends that need tying up. But Carol Alicio has 60 committee helpers and her background is a hotel social director. She also knows what it takes to get busy socialites to turn out for a big ticket charity event. I'll tell you a secret. I think sometimes maybe the more you charge, maybe the more people that you get. I've kind of, I think that. Charge what they will, and it was $125 a plate here, the real money is made on the art auction. And these bidders, many of them doctors, obviously have it to spend. Hey, Ron, you can buy all that stuff. You know, it's <laughs> Really? A couple of bladders. <laughs> Another must is the right guest list, filled with newsworthy names likely to bring out Burl Stiff, whose own promise to appear can be a lure in itself. So they say in the business it's a big coup if Burl covers your event, and I think he's risen above everyone else and he is really kind of a superstar here locally. So Stiff occasionally finds himself under pressure to cover this event or that and with so many to choose from the decision has to be arbitrary. Uh, there really ain't no justice in it. It's, it's, it's an awful lot of it's a matter of timing. Something that I would that I would cover thoroughly right now, I might ignore at another time of the year because of something else that's going on. You do so many parties in and out. Is it uh, you know? Can you get up for everyone? You should. <laughs> you should. We try anyway. To... Once you get there, it's okay. Sometimes that that uh, getting ready to leave the house is a little bit tough to to, to face it. You uh, learn to enjoy the nights home uh, where it's nice and quiet. I like them, but. After a while, like anything else, it gets a little old and uh, a little plastic. And I like a small, intimate group a lot better than I do 1,000 people. This one here, for example, is for a very worthy cause. So all of us would like to do everything we can to help the hospital, and that's why we're here. I enjoy it. It's part of what I have to do as a public figure. But tonight, my husband, my twin sister's married to a doctor, and this is Mercy Hospital. So of course I'll be here. But I enjoy it. But I don't do it as much as I used to when I was in office. But it's fun. It's still work to Burl Stiff, who's always prowling for quotes and angles that will interest the average reader. For those who follow his column as their own social blue book, going unmentioned can be a letdown. I sometimes am startled when somebody will say, uh, uh, well, why did you, um, why did you say uh, John and Mary Jones but the Bill Smiths? Didn't you know, didn't, don't you like Mrs. Smith? Why didn't you mention her name? And of course the answer is I didn't think about it at all. It was just to, to vary the rhythm of the sentence. Stiff also varies the rhythm of his coverage, hopping from formal affairs to costume parties. Tomorrow night, we'll drop by one society bash that turns a dozen doyens into dancers. Gene Cubison, News 8.